The day was filled with many villagers from near and far who came to wish Auntie Iris on her 100th birthday. Regional Chairman of Region 4, Genevieve Allen, who shared some memories of her childhood days of the centenarian, said, I grew up in this community and uh, it took us a while to realize that Aunt Iris was not a born Baronian. <laughs> Those of us and me, when we were going to school, we felt that she was born and bred here in Bedford Acton. And so when I looked at her history, I recognized that she was born on the 14th of January, 1917. And so we're celebrating her birthday on her birthday. For those of you who have your history intact would know Aunt Iris would have been born five years after the Titanic would have sunk. That's in 1912. Minister of Social Protection Amna Ali said, God has spared Auntie Iris's life for such a time as this. And she blessed her with many more years of life. You know, I feel honored. And I'll tell you why. Aunt Iris is from a village called Number 10 Village, West Coast, Burbies, Region Number 5. And I am from a neighboring village called the Edward Village, West Coast, Burbies, Region 5. And so I feel very, very proud to be here. More than being proud, this is Minister Ali's first official function since being appointed as Minister of Social Protection, who was also the former Minister of Social Cohesion. And I feel humbled, I feel real good to be here because Aunt Iris and I come from the same region and here am I sharing with you my first official duty at this celebratory function. I want to say to you that it is not easy to reach 100 and looking like Aunt Iris. <laughs> she must have done the right things. She must have walked the road of the Lord. The minister also had some advice to the gathering. Listen. I want to urge all of you present here today to take a leaf out of Aunt Iris's book and probably talk with her and find out what were some of the things she did during her 100 years. You know, when I came in, I asked her, first of all, if she was in good health. And she said, yes. But you know, we have our ups and downs. So, some days we are OK, and some days we are not. So to come thus far, it is commendable. And we must find some time and talk with her. In the end, Auntie Iris cut the cake with the help of Minister Ali, her family and friends. Minister Ali also presented a huge hamper to Auntie Iris on her 100th birthday. The regional chairman also presented a photograph framed in gold to the centenarian. Andrew Wicks reporting for Channel 2 Headline News.